Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today I'm here to share this super pretty little ocean book with all of you, so let's go ahead and take a look. So as many of you may know already, I did do a little collaboration with some of my friends recently where Priscilla, who has released the craft and asked us if we wanted to participate in doing a little fundraiser for the wildfires in Australia. So I said yes, and as a part of that, I was um was offering a custom journal for bidding and whoever won would get a book in the theme of their choice and then of course the proceeds for from the winnings would be donated to Australia and like I said previously we raised just over $500 um and we split that up between donating it to wires and to the firefighters so Thank you to everyone who participated um, in both the bidding and the um, offering to have something up for, for a bid. So this was the book that my winner, who is Rose, hey Rose, she chose Ocean Theme. So we're going to go through this book today. It's eight and a half by five and a half. It is a hardcover and it has three signatures. It's covered with fabric, as you can see. I chose this really pretty kind of beachy fabric. It really instantly made me think of the beach when I saw it. The closure is removable. It's just a piece of vintage bias tape and navy vintage seam binding. They're both loose. And then you can see here I have attached with a little clip a charm. <clears throat> and on this chart, well, it's a tassel, so it's just got a big variety of different um, kind of like ocean colored trims and stuff that I had. And then I've also made like a really cute little charm as well. And it's got like a seashell and then the little bead here, blue bead, clear bead, and the starfish at the very bottom. So I think this is really just cute and pretty for the theme. So the book, like I said, it's just a standard hardcover. You can see the spine here. And on the front cover, what I did was I found this image of a beach. It had this heart-shaped rock here on the cover. And what I decided to do was use my white gel pen so that it would look like, mm, like scratchy chalk writing that's actually on the rock. And I wrote with love, Australia, XO, XO. And I really like the way that turned out because it kind of looks like it really is part of like the picture, but I wrote that on there it's just so that when she picks this book up, she is, I mean, I doubt that she's going to forget, it, but it's just a little re reminder to her of her generosity and her willingness to help um, people in need. So in the pocket here, I, I put a little tag. So if she wants to write something about, you know, her experience or however she wants to kick this book off, that's up to her. And I did ask her if she was going to be using this for journaling or not. And she said maybe a little bit of writing, but mostly just a keepsake. So it is pretty fluffy with, with that in mind. So on the inside, there's a pocket here in the front so she can add some things there. Each of the signatures starts off with a little collage like this. I just think they look really pretty. And I have used some happy mail that I received in, in this book and there are some fabric tags as well. Really pretty. And this fabric, when I first got it, I didn't even realize it had like seahorses and it was like an ocean theme. <laughs> so that was pretty perfect. And then just a couple of like book pages things about the the ocean and the beach etc and a couple of tags here this is a flip open so she can glue it down if she prefers to use it as a pocket there's a big tag here and on these pages I did do a lot of like hand dyeing papers and such in this book so you can see like how it's kind of dyed here and I love the way that looks because it just looks like it's water running off and I think that looks really pretty and then in addition to that I used some glitterifics paint and you can see at the bottom how reflective that is on the page and it just makes it kind of glisten 
with the likeness of water in mind. Use lots of burlap in here as well, but yeah, you can see that shimmer. There are book pages in here, a couple of little tags. I've used some vintage ocean images, that's a pocket. And then like I said, I did dye some of the papers, but I used um, Tattered Angels on some and it definitely isn't showing on camera, but its papers are pretty like shiny and shimmery, reflective. There's some tool here on the edge. Did a little jibbit stipping, jibbit stitching at the bottom. It's an octopus here. That's from the, um, I want to say that one might be from the Graphics Fairy. I did use some images from the Graphics Fairy in here. So I put some of these cool like papers in from Crafty Irina. I think they gave like a really nice textural sound to the book and then the browns just kind of remind me of like the sand at the beach and then I did just do staining on those as well to add to that texture and same on this side these papers are really so pretty I wish I really wish the shimmer would show I did a little stamping this is just a cut off and again it's like reflective blue and then I also have put some little um, sequins and stuff inside of this pocket just so it's kind of like bubbly or water effect. There's a little tiny Hermelinda tag here. There's a little <clears throat> It's a little starfish charm. Starf I can't talk today. <laughs> starfish charm. So some more writing space. This paper is also shimmer. A little bit of stamping. Tucked a little ticket in here. I think these are seven gypsies if I'm not mistaken. stamping in here. I, I know that there are plants underwater so I wanted to add some of my little plant stamps in but I love this like really abstract just deep blue staining kind of reminds me of when the water is retracting off the sand. So here this is just a little journaling card that I popped in and this is just a scrap little paper thing and there's some um, textured wallpaper here. I just tuck these together like that and you can use it for writing. So here, this is just a big trifold, so she can write a big note in there. And on the front, there is a tag tucked in. So the second signature, again, there's a little collage on the front. These have little stories on the back. I think they were book pages. These were um, gifted to me. So this, again, the ships are printed on vellum. fabric assortment here. I really love the way the staining turned out in, the, in this book. tail. <laughs> These like ocean pages cracked me up. Stories. I think they're trying. Um, 
I can't remember what book they came from, but yeah. So here is a big belly band and just a big index card that's stained and it has a little ship I stamped on there. I was surprised because I didn't remember um, getting that stamp. <laughs> So here, another Hermelinda tag and just a collage on the front. Got some like jellyfish down here. This is a wallpaper pocket and it's got like seashells on it, so perfect. Just left it empty. more of my sequins bubbles <laughs> and just a tag here I stamped some luggage here little fabric collages throughout so here in this signature, there's another charm here. It's really cute. It's got like a little fish on it and then the seashell and then the blue bead. So I think those are really cute. And the third signature, final collage on the front. It's a big book page here. And a little tag. I really hope she likes this. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's really something special that I hope she'll be able to just cherish. You know, it's always nice to see um, people's generosity come out. And so I'm happy. I was more than happy to make this for her. Water clowns. <laughs> okay. Okay. Some more little sequins in there. Another tag. Some fish. There's another um, envelope here in the center. This one is um, like a lighthouse wallpaper, which is kind of the same as that one there. one more book page. Oh, I folded it like an envelope. Just fun little reading. I like to find little tidbits like this and just do a little, little reading here and there. I think that's kind of fun and adds to the, the adventure of, of, of your book. <laughs> Here, there's just a little seashell charm that I found. Another tag in there. Yeah, in there. Another flip. And what do we have? Oh, this is just, um, I just used a book page that I had. Kind of like about the beach. It was, I was tearing pieces off of it. Turned it into a pocket and then this is a tag. Stitched one of those tickets onto the front. Little book page. She can do a little secret writing behind there. I stamped out thank you here. So, um, you know, just to remind her that she is, uh, that we're thankful for what she, what she did for her generosity. 
So here is another one of those like scrappy pads and it's got um, the wallpaper, the seashell wallpaper on the back. And then just some like handmade paper that I also colored, scrap papers, and a Rolodex card and a little trim. There's a big postcard here in the back, so she can use that or save that. It's vintage. Tucks in here, and then back here is a little note that I wrote to her. And there's my stamp. So this is Rose's book, and I really hope that she likes it. And again, I definitely want to say a big thank you to her for um, participating and um, congratulations for winning. And I hope that you like this book. <laughs> um, and I hope that you all have enjoyed watching the flip through and spending a little time with me here this uh, on this day. So I believe I will be back sometime soon. I have a lot of things that I need to do still. So I will be back soon. And um, yeah, I've enjoyed spending time with you all today. And I hope you have with me as well. That is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time. Toodaloo.